Welcome to the Bottle Poppin' Podcast, where Meg and Heather share their love for oils, friendship, and entrepreneurship. Let's get it poppin'. Hey, everyone. This is Meg. Hi there. This is Heather. And we are the Bottle Poppin' Podcast. So, Heather, what are we popping open today? We're going to pop open a fun conversation. Let's talk about what you and I have used in the last 24 hours. So we're going to call this episode 24 Hours of doTERRA. Love it. Okay. Well, what was the very first oil that you used yesterday? So or in the morning, oil or product, I guess I should say. Well, if we opened it up to products first thing in the morning, I mean, as soon as I use the restroom, I'm washing my hands with the on guard true, true. hand wash. <laughs> Same. <laughs> and that's throughout the day. So that one's going to be all day long. We actually have it at work too. So yay for that. Wait, 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 wait. You wash your hands throughout the day? What? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Could you imagine if that was a huge breakthrough? Like, what? You fancy. <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> I tend to put in tune on in the morning. I'll roll it on the back of my neck before work or before this morning I did just to kind of get into a little bit of a focus mentality. Mm-hmm. Brush my teeth with on guard toothpaste. And then I moved to the kitchen and I did the Meta Power Advantage mixed with greens. Mm, nice. Okay. So my my morning yesterday started with a workout. And so after my workout, I do the Meta Power Advantage just mixed with water. I love that. And then I also took a shower after my workout. And after my shower, I've been dry brushing with Meta Power oil. So I used that. And definitely like the toothpaste, the hand wash, although you said on guard. We've got both on guard and abode. So depending on where I am in the house, goes back and forth between those. I'm pretty sure in the office, we still have abode as well. We at least have the abode soap dispenser. So... <laughs> I can't guarantee that they're putting a boat in there. I'm not sure what they're putting in there, (laughs) but it's soap. It's clean. We're good. We're good. And then in my coffee, so I always eat breakfast first and then have my coffee, but in my coffee, I added, I I love to add and do this almost every day, a drop of peppermint essential oil. So, oh, and my skincare routine too in the morning. So I use rose. And then after that, I use the anti-aging face lotion, but I mix that with Yarrow Palm and I have a whole skincare routine. I'm pretty sure I've shared it before on our page, but if not, I've definitely shared it on my personal Instagram page. So if you want to go watch that, you can see that. Um, But yeah, I love my skincare routine. It makes me feel really good and loved. So yeah. And then, so I went from home. Oh, before I left the house, I did put oil in the diffusers and I actually put a a new to me blend. And this is something that I send out on a weekly basis to my doTERRA people. I send a Tuesday tip every Tuesday and the tip this week was this diffuser blend. So the diffuser blend is called Bring On Spring And it's three drops of lemongrass, two drops of eucalyptus, and one drop of lavender. And it smelled really good, like really refreshing and fun. And like I've said before, lemongrass is kind of sweet to me. So it was a really good blend. So I put that in the diffusers at home. And then when I went into the office, I also always turn on my diffuser there. And there, my favorite combo is to do balance and wild orange together. Like it's just calming, but motivating at the same time. So that's what I put on in the office. And also when I got to the office, I put motivate oil on me as just kind of my personal perfume. So that was kind of my morning with doTERRA. I like the diffuser that you said, the diffuser blend that you said for home. We've been getting a lot of rain here in Austin. Have you been getting it in Dallas too? We've had some, not a ton, but some, yeah. Yeah. So that bring on spring or whatever you called mm-hmm. it. I feel like that's perfect for for right now. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. 
Middle of the day, I tend to use the peppermint beadlets after I have eaten lunch. I was I work on Tuesdays and Thursdays in physical therapy, so I'll eat lunch and then before I go back to seeing patients, I like to do the peppermint beadlets. Yesterday, I reached into my purse to take a peppermint beadlet and realized I had an empty container in there. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, luckily I had the Superman beadlets, which are uh, a slightly different minty taste, but just as refreshing. And so I was able to use those and note to self, go take that empty bottle and replace it later. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) I'm curious. Do you feel like all the beadlets are interchangeable? Like I do. I'm okay with freshening my breath with the MetaPower beadlets or even on guard. Yes, but I also am mood specific. So I want a minty taste. I want a minty taste, not Mm MetaPower or on guard. And so I have them all in a certain pocket of my purse. I bought a purse that had multiple pockets like on the outside at different heights thinking this will be great. I'll know what I put in each pocket with the exception of the two oil pockets. All the other pockets blend together and I have no idea what's in any (laughs) pocket. Luckily, the two oil ones, I've got like the beadlets and hand sanitizer in one and then oils in the other. And I know which two pockets they are. So I can kind of blindly reach over in my car, unzip the pocket and get it. But when I have multiple beadlets in there, I'll pull one out. Nope. On guard. Okay. Nope. Empty peppermint. Okay. Okay. Here we go. I got a super mint. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> so pros and cons. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. At work, I used deep blue quite a few times. The deep blue rub specifically. I will do some manual work on a patient and then just to keep them from being sore when they leave, I'll rub some deep blue on there too, which they like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's got to be good for you too. Like, even though it's just on your hands, it's still getting into your body. So I wonder how much more tense you would be in general if you weren't using it multiple times a day on patients. Yeah, I I like it for myself for the exact same reason. I do have to go wash my hands right afterwards, though, because Mm -hmm. I'm always so scared of touching my face with it on. Right. Yeah, (laughs) that is a concern. So for me, midday, I don't really think I used any oils per se, but I definitely, that's when I take my supplements. So uh, with lunch, I take the Lifelong Vitality. So that's three different supplements. Uh, I take Terrazyme with every meal. So I took that with breakfast too. I guess I forgot to mention that one. And MetaPower Soft Gel with that as well. Yeah, so supplements. I think that's the only ones I took yesterday. And then I take a bunch of other supplements, but they're not doTERRA. (laughs) So just for me, I feel like I need breakfast and lunch in my belly before I can really handle supplements. Interesting. I like that that is individualized for each person. Mm -hmm. I do think that takes a little bit of a learning curve for people when they're new to supplements, because I definitely am still probably a work in progress of figuring out what time works best for me for certain supplements. So I tend to do LLV first thing in the morning, but some of the others I'm still playing around with when I prefer to take them. Well, I learned the hard way, and this was pre-doTERRA supplements, but when I first started taking multivitamins, maybe not first, I'm sure I took them as a kid, like Flintstone vitamins or something like that. And I do remember in college, my dad told me I needed to take a multivitamin. And so like, I took a multivitamin throughout most of college and rarely got sick. And then I became, you know, a busy adult, didn't do any of that. And at some point I remembered that in college, I rarely got sick. So I started taking multivitamins again. And it was like that Centrum, Mm -hmm. you know, like just a generic one for women probably, which side note that I know that's like one of the most popular supplements, multivitamins out there. There's got so much junk in it. That is not a good supplement. If you're listening to this and taking that, listen to your functional nutritionist. Don't take that. That's a waste of money. It's not helping your body. But anyways, I started taking it and I would take it, like I left it in my car. So I would take it right before I would head to work. And multiple times, the first few weeks I took it, I would have to pull over because I got so nauseous. And all of my coworkers were like, ooh, you're pregnant. (laughs) Like, I'm not pregnant. But it took me a while to realize it was the multivitamins. Like I cannot do it on a mint on an empty stomach. So (laughs) Hmm, interesting. Ultimately with vitamins and supplements, just the fact that you're taking them is good. So take them whenever you can. But if you want to optimize them, take them with food because your body's going to absorb it better if it thinks it's getting the nutrients from food. Oh, I love that. Wow. That's a really good tip. Yeah. But again, ultimately just take your supplements, you know, (laughs) 
good supplements. It will optimize it. Yeah. Good supplements. Yeah. <laughs> um, midday, not quite evening yet on our rides home from school. The kids will be talking about their day and they are perfectionist for themselves, but also for each other. And so they're coming from a place of love, but Mm -hmm. wow, they are just constantly trying to like tell the other one that there's a better way from whatever they did. You could do this instead. And I'm going to use the word arguing because it feels like arguing to me. But every time I tell them they need to stop arguing because we're in a small space called the car, they say Mm -hmm. we're not arguing, we're debating or whatever. And so (laughs) they're doing it from a place of love. But my mom ears get really tired of it really quickly and and traffic's heavy. And, you know, it's kind of been rainy here the last couple of days. And so I will just kind of feel myself starting to tense up. So again, I remember which oil pocket is in my purse. I can blindly reach over there. Hence the same problem that I had with the beadlets. I've got a couple roller bottles in there. So I grab one on guard. Nope, not what I was looking for. Frankincense is what I was looking for. Mm-hmm. So I can roll it on my jawline where I'm getting tense. I roll it over my forehead. I put it back in the bag, rub everything in oh. and take a couple of deep breaths. So, so that smart. was, yeah. So that was part of my afternoon. Then as soon as we get home, my daughter's taking off her backpack and drops her metal water bottle directly on her toe. Which oh, no. Off. Yeah. So we immediately put some helichrysum and then a cold pack on top of it. So that was just the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, I'm glad you had those oils for all of those moments. Yes. Do you that's have why- a car diffuser? I do. But it requires to either be plugged in my phone chargers often Mm -hmm. plugged in and or I have my drinking water that is either starting to run low. So I don't want to waste it by putting in there. So it does take a little bit of thought on my part if I want to use the car diffuser. My honest, my my car diffuser is me. So if I need kids to calm down, I will slather myself with oils because I know that they can smell it, too. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I'm all about just like the sneakiness of cane oils (laughs) onto other people. (laughs) You might not think you want them, but I'm bringing them to you by wearing them myself. I love it. (laughs) (laughs) So smart. Mom, mom hacks. Evil genius. Yeah. There you go. Love it. Yeah. We have a, we actually, I think have two car diffusers, but we only use them on like long road trips because in day-to-day life, if you're only driving 10 minutes, it just seems like a hassle. I did used to put oils on like cotton balls and then shove the cotton balls in my um, air vents. And yeah. I've even like bought some cute Etsy versions, but they never last long enough either. So. Yeah, I agree. All right. Well, what about the evening? So evening, my nighttime routine is pretty specific. And we're going to roll this all the way into this morning because my morning has already been different than yesterday too. My evenings, last night I took the Serenity Soft Gel because we stayed up a little later than normal. I knew I could sleep in this morning. Today is Good Friday when we're recording this. And so I knew I was going to get to sleep in a little bit. Took it the Serenity Soft Gel. I put the cedarwood upside down on the crown of my head to get a few drops that way. And then I took a few inhales of the Tulsi because I feel like that is really nice and calming and comforting right before bed. Nice. Well, I will say like we wash dishes after dinner with the Abode liquid dish soap. We really like that stuff. Did that. Um, and then also Donald, my husband, did laundry. So we use the On Guard concentrated laundry detergent. Love that stuff. I will give a tip though, because I've told so many people about it and people are like, my, my clothes feel weird. You don't use a cap full. <laughs> it doesn't say to use a cap full, but I think we're so used to using a cap full you know, with other laundry detergents, but you really need a measuring spoon. It's just one tablespoon. And that makes a world of difference. So it lasts a long time because of that as well. He washed clothes. I did dishes. And then as far as bedtime routine, I always take a serenity soft gel. Pretty sure Donald does as well. So we did that. Washed my face. I put blue tansy on my skin last night. I, I don't have a set nighttime routine with my skin, but I always put some type of oil. So it's just kind of which one I feel like applying. So last night it was blue tansy. The night before that was melaleuca or tea tree. So 
I just kind of change it up based on what I'm feeling like, but I decided to make my face blue. <laughs> Going to bed like a Smurf is always good. Yeah. 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 Uh, also put lavender in the diffuser. So we've got a diffuser up in the bedroom and I put copious amounts of lavender actually in the diffuser. I put a lot more than normal because we are watching my parents' dog and I was hoping that would help her sleep. Spoiler alert, it did not help her sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe too many drops of lavender then. <laughs> yeah, so that was interesting. But yeah, I think that was my, my nighttime routine. So my morning routine is fairly the same as it was yesterday. I've already done the MetaPower collagen mixed with the greens and water. And then I have put the Intune on this morning. The only thing I've done differently is because I'm actually sitting in the office. I won't I don't tend to run my diffuser if I'm not going to be here for a while, unless I'm running it for my dog. I will put balance in for my dog if I'm leaving just so that he hopefully stays calm. Mm -hmm. But this morning I had patchouli sitting on my desk because I don't know if anybody saw my personal reel the other day, but I have been using natural products for a really long time. And I've been using doTERRA for five years, but I have never purchased patchouli, it kind of always felt like a hippie scent to me. But at some point here soon, we're going to have a podcast on patchouli. And so I figured I needed to go ahead and get accustomed to this oil and start using it. I can't say I love the smell. Let's hope by the time we do the <laughs> podcast recording, I do. But I'm trying it in the diffuser this morning. So I have two drops of patchouli and two drops of peppermint. The longer I've sat here with it, it's nice. I, I, I described it to Meg when I first put it in as minty musty. I don't know that I smell that. It feels a little bit more combined now. It's it's not bad, but I can't necessarily put a specific description on it either. Yeah. It's been so long since I've used patchouli. I, I don't know that I have an opinion, but. <laughs> have you put anything you're, in your diffuser this morning? I haven't yet. In fact, I, so the day that we are recording this, our Northern Escape podcast came is coming out or came out. And um, so my plan is to do Northern Escape and Grapefruit. Ooh, Only that because, sounds fun. Yeah. When I re-listened to the episode, we were talking about that would be a fun blend. And I don't know that I ever did it after we listened to it, but that, that's what I will be putting in the diffuser after this. So I like it. Well, I think you can hear how many products that we use on a daily basis. And I'm not even sure that I didn't miss some or that you I'm didn't I'm sure miss some. we are missing quite a few because so much of it is just literally everyday life. Oh, like I cleaned off the countertops, you know, with the abode sanitizing spray and yeah. So have or you shifted purpose. to abode from the on guard? Because I tend to, I have both. I tend to mm -hmm. use the cleaner concentrate for kitchen cleanup stuff. I tend to use abode for bathrooms. No rhyme or reason, just kind of the direction I went. Yeah, we use the abode. We both really like the abode cleaning concentrate. And um, I do always add lemon to it because mm -hmm. I feel like without lemon, it leaves the countertops kind of streaky. Mm -hmm. So I just use the on guard cleaner concentrate for the toilet bowl. But otherwise, I don't really use that one anymore. I like it, but it just the other one seems so easy to use. And the fact that the that it comes in the you know little concentrated bottles and it's easy to pour in. I don't have to measure anything and then I just add water to it. I I like that. And I like the way it smells. Well, I love that we have choices. Right. Me too. I hope they don't ever take them away. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I just thought, like, as I said that, I thought of another thing. Um, so just with showering, I love the spa line soap, the, the spa bath bar specifically. That thing is so moisturizing and smells so good. And it foams up really nicely. So I don't even need shaving cream anymore. Like, that's one of the things I forget that I use. I use it literally every day and need to order more. And they're they're affordable. So interesting with that. And again, coming from two different places, I do not use the bar at all. I love the shower gels. Mm. I have the Citrus Bloom in there right now, but just their regular one is really nice too. I feel like it works just for a great just body cleaner. It works as a shaving gel. Like I feel mm. like it's easy to use. I, I feel like bars kind of, I've got to have somewhere to sit it. It kind of gets messy on whatever it's sitting on. The gel is really easy and straightforward for me. So I go that direction. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Again, choices. It's awesome. Awesome. 
Well, we hope that y'all have enjoyed this episode. If you want to share with us what you have been using, or if you learned something new that you hadn't even thought about doing before, we'd love to hear about that as well. So connect with us on social media, through our website, send us an email. We just like connecting with you guys. If you found this valuable, we would so appreciate it if you would rate and review this podcast. We'll just help more people find this information. Thanks for tuning in. For more information, you can follow these bottle popping ladies at bottlepoppinpodcast.com. Tune in next week to learn about what bottle we're popping. Until next time, take care. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This podcast is not intended to treat, diagnose, cure, or prevent any disease.